What's going on y'all? Welcome back to another episode. Today I'm going to be doing a little bit of trout fishing. So the Maryland Department of Natural Resources does a really great job uh, with the trout stocking program in the state and uh, it's just started off so we're in about mid to late October and they're starting their fall trout stockings right now. So uh, I'm out at a local pond that they put 400 in a few days ago. Got a few other fishermen here. I've already seen a few trout caught. I've got both my rods out right now and uh, I'm gonna see if I can get my five trout limit. I love that the state does this. They do a really good job throughout the state. Um, not only stocking ponds, but they do stock our local streams uh, in Western Maryland um, with rainbows, browns, I think they do native brooks as well maybe some cutthroats somewhere but uh, if you go on the state of maryland website they have it all laid out there for you you can you know see which places have been stocked on what dates how many fish they put in there whether they put rainbows browns golden trout in there it lays it out really simple and you can even sign up for emails so that when uh, they do stock they'll send an email to let you know hey it's time to go fishing uh, i just got here i've got about an hour and a half until it gets dark out i'm gonna go ahead and see if i can catch a few but yeah i've got two rods out that are just sitting with bait and then i'm gonna be throwing around a super duper Hopefully we can get some fish. Uh, these trout are absolutely delicious to eat. So stay tuned and we will be catching shortly. So I'll show you guys real quick some of the things that we like to use. Like I said, these, these mouse tails work really well. Um, these orange ones are what I'm using right now, but some days the, uh, the fish really like the pink ones. So you gotta have options when it comes to trout. You just never know what color they're gonna like. Um, and like I said, we even got the, the, uh, the green tailed ones um they like these ones too so and we got we got some more even these orange and green heads but some other guys like to throw power bait um you can definitely do that um they like these little worms they like the uh, globs of power bait which historically a lot of guys use um, we're starting to get away from these just because it's a little messy um and we like to use the mouse tails as artificials they work just as well and they honestly hold up a little bit better so uh, but when you're trout fishing, you got to have plenty of different baits to use because you really just never know uh, what those trout are going to want to be hitting. And a lot of days it's just a certain color that they like. So don't be afraid to switch things up and try different baits. I'm going to be using these uh, power bait, mouse tails, whitehead, orange tail. They have worked fantastic for us. Um, the pink ones work good too. Sometimes they like the, the green head, but... Uh, the go-to recently has been these these orange tails with the white heads. So I'm gonna get two of those out, rig them up, on my rods that I'm gonna be casting out, letting sit, and then I got a super duper I'm gonna cast around while I'm waiting for these to get hit. So got two split shots just to keep that down, but it's light enough that when those trout hit it, you will know. Just like that. Let that thing hang, just like that. Do the same thing for my other rod. Just using small little trout hooks, it's all you need. Don't wanna be throwing out anything too big. Let that sit right out there. Probably should have brought a little bit better boots, but oh, fish already hit it. Literally, fish started to hit it. I'll let it sit. Might need a stick or something to let it sit on. Somebody's got a trout down there. Good for them, getting little man out fishing. They got a young kid with them. I think that's awesome. I'm just gonna leave that right there. We're gonna wanna tighten it up. That way when they hit it, I know. Cast this other one out a little to the right. Right about there. Let that sit. Once it settles, just tighten that slack up again. So once they do hit it, you know you're getting a hit. Let's see if the super duper can make anything happen. Now it is cloudy, so this won't have as much shine to it, but. So when you're working a super duper, you're, you're gonna wanna reel it. And then as you pause, it kinda rolls and falls. And a lot of times these trout will hit it on that fall. But yeah, this super duper, I'm just throwing a, a gold one with a little red hint to it on the head. Take a few casts with the super duper while I'm watching over my rods. Hold. There's a fish. He slammed that. 
There he is. Oh my gosh, my rod almost went flying. That's what we're looking for, guys. Now I just gotta finesse him. I don't have a net. Come here, buddy. Might get wet here. Oh, come on, stay on, stay on. Oh, there he is, guys. That's what we're looking for. Slammed it. Get him up here. Let's go. That is a beautiful rainbow trout right there. Check out the colors on that. What a beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. So thankful for the opportunity to get out and chase these guys. Thanks to the stocking program. He's going to go in the bucket. I'm telling you guys, this little white and orange mouse tail is so good for these trout. These mouse tails in general are great. A lot of guys like to use power bait, but these past few years, we've been finding that these mouse tails work wonders for these trout. So I highly recommend using them. That's what I usually use, and that's what I just caught this guy on. So can't really complain about that. We're going to see if we can get some more. One fish down, four to go. We're gonna keep on casting. Most places, if not all places, you're only allowed to fish three rods per person. So that kind of kind of limits the people that would bring, you know, 10 rods, line up the entire bank, and no one else has room to fish. So I'm okay with that rule, and I think three rods is plenty. Perfect amount to manage while you're trout fishing. So rod's getting hit. I'm gonna have to set that down. This one's getting hit. There's a fish. There he is. And he's running to where I had to set my lure down. Feels like a decent one. They do stock some decent trout in here. Sometimes they put some real big ones, especially in the streams. There he is. Come to pop. Oh, right there. And he did get my, my other line, unfortunately. But that's all right. It looks like the other one's a little bigger. But that's so cool. My second trout in about 20 minutes. Let's see if we can get this out. Well, I'm up to two trout. That last one got a little bloody. He was hooked a little deep, but that is okay because he's going home and going into the frying pan. Got my other two rods set up right here. One cast it out to the left, one cast it out right in front of me. Hopefully I can catch my five fish and get out of here quick. Well guys, that is a great start uh, to my trout fishing adventure. It's my first of the year. And uh, like I said, the stocking program just got underway. Um, a lot of places have been getting stocked, so I'm gonna be hopefully getting out more. Uh, this time of year is great for, for trout fishing because other, other fishing starting to starting to calm down a little bit. Um, starting to get cold but uh you can still have a lot of fun with the trout fishing so it's always fun to get out get a few lines wet catch some trout and i've got two so i got three more to go gonna hopefully catch them quickly because i am running out of light but like i said i've only been here about 20 minutes two fish already and i've only seen one other caught so i might be in a really good spot just casting out this little super duper now if it was sunny i think i'd have a little bit better luck but with the clouds um it just doesn't shine as much so I'm not really expecting to catch one on artificial, but I think I definitely could. Um, but these these little power bait mouse tails are really going to be getting the trick done for me, as I've seen already. And I just had a trout hit my super duper. I saw him flash at it, and I let it drop back to him. Oh, I wish I was recording, but I got it on late. Oh, God, yes, sir. That's freaking awesome, guys. Oh, that is a beautiful beautiful rainbow trout check out the colors on that fish guys oh my just want to show you guys the colors on this fish that i just caught on a super duper gold super duper with a red head beautiful beautiful fish i literally saw him come up and flash at it and i paused my super duper and uh he came back and hit it right next to the bank oh here we go here we go that one just got tapped Let's see if he stays with it. Bro. 
probably should have let him hit it a little bit more before I picked it up. But we're going to see if he comes back and finishes eating it. He's hitting this good. Take it. Take it. Thank you. Does he have it? There. What the? Oh, I still got him. I still got him. My, my bail flip told me. I still got him. And he's running. He's running that way. Come over this way, buddy. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, yeah. There we go. And he got a little muddy. <laughs> Rinse him off. And boom, guys. That is my fourth fish. And it is a chunky one at that. I think I'm getting a hit, guys. This rod on the right is getting tapped. Oh, yeah. This will be my fifth and final fish. If I can get him. Oh, no. It's, there we go. Is he still on there? He was hitting it pretty good a second ago. Yeah. He's hitting it pretty good. I think he's got it. Yep, there he is. There he is. Come on, baby. And he comes up. <clears throat> Come back this way. Come back this way. I'm going to get this rod out the way. <clears throat> Come on. Come on, baby. There he is. Oh, yeah. Boom. Oh, that's a limit. That's a freaking limit in about 45 minutes. Oh, yeah. Get off work. Come catch some fish. That's how we do it. Beautiful rainbow trout. I got myself a good dinner now. Well, guys, I was able to get my limit in about 45 minutes. Super grateful to get out. These trout are going to be absolutely delicious. I can't wait to eat them. Uh, I got my five and uh, really, really enjoyed myself this afternoon. So like I said, I was at Hutchins Pond, um, cat little local community pond down in Calvert County, open to the public. Uh, the, the DNR stocks it periodically throughout the year. Um, you can also come and catch some small bass and bluegill in it. Uh, there's not a ton of fish in it. It's not really a big spot, but uh, when they do stock it with trout, really fun place to come. So. Uh, if you guys did enjoy the video, please make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. i um, been having a lot of fun getting out in the woods and on the water. Um, and this fall is shaping up to be a really good one. Rock fishing is really heating up. I'm excited for November because then we're going to get into some open water jigging for them, uh, which is a lot of fun and the fish get really fat. So uh, I hope you guys have been enjoying the content. We will see you all on the next one.